Hey everyone, welcome back. I came to Publix to grab some deals for the sales week of April 21st through April 27th or April 22nd through the 28th. Depending on where you're located, I feel like it's a pretty slow week. I don't feel, I kind of always feel like that now. I feel like when I first started couponing at Publix, there was always a lot of awesome deals and rebates to like pair up and stuff. But I'm gonna go in there, see what I can grab. I did get my $5 Publix gift card from that sparkling ice drink deal I did I think it was at least two and a half months ago I did get this I want to say like three weeks ago before I went on my second trip back to Texas I haven't couponed at Publix in probably three weeks but in Texas there is no Publix so I couldn't do it anyways um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the store I did some chicken scratch to try to find some deals and I'm gonna see what I can grab so the Folgers ground coffee, the 10.3 to 11.3, are buy one get one free this week. I did this deal last time it came around and I did have internet printables also. So I'm gonna pick up one half bogo for $1.89. I have one of these dollar off of one that I printed from coupons.com that'll leave me to pay 89 cents for one. Kang's dressings this week are buy one get one free at $3.99. I'm gonna pick up this one half bogo for $1.99. I did pick up the Dynamite Ranch when it was a free rebate at Walmart, so I'm gonna give this one a try. So $1.99, I have a dollar off of one digital. That'll make this just 99 cents. The Nabisco Chips Ahoy are buy one, get one free this week, and they're priced at $3.38. I found this dollar off of two on a box or a bag at CVS like two weeks ago, and then I went to another store the day before yesterday and they were still on some of the bags so if you can find some of these it'll take a dollar off of two it'll make your final cost 238 for two the mu'ala organic banana milk is buy one get one free it's priced at 4.99 they do have dollar off of any beverage if you go to their website and you sign up they'll send you an email to print the coupon so i'm going to pick up two for 4.99 use two of these dollar off of any that'll leave me to pay 2.99 i will submit back to ibotta for a dollar back on each one making my final cost for these big 48 ounce just 99 cents for both and then these promised land dairy milk are priced at two for six dollars there is a shop kick rebate for the shop kick rebate for 1300 kicks when you buy both and then there is 20 scan kicks for each one when you scan them in the store so 1340 Shopkick is going to give you back a total of $5.36, making these a final cost of $0.64 cents for both or $0.32 cents each. I did go to their website, um, but the coupon they had online said it expired already. So that's still a really good deal, $0.36, $0.34 cents for each of them. So I'm in like the energy drink section. I was looking for the Kill Cliff. Last time I bought it, it was like all the way back here, but it was clearanced out. So I'm sure they were just getting rid of it. But on Ibotta, there is a rebate for $2.99 back on these rowdy energy drinks with a limit of two. They are two for five. And then Ibotta will give you back $5.98, making them free and a 98 cent moneymaker. The Stony Field Kids Organic Yogurt is buy one, get one free. It does include some of the other ones too, but I'm gonna grab one of these up here. I'm gonna grab one half bogo for 214. I have a dollar off of one digital. That's gonna make one of these a six count, just a dollar 14. So there's a deal on these Nani biscottis. You can get the Thin Addictives or I guess the original. There is a coupon for each kind. So there's a dollar off of two for the ones up here, and then there's a dollar off of two for the ones down here. I'm gonna grab two of these. I think I'm gonna try the toffee and the lemon. So I'll use this dollar off of two. My final cost would be $2.49 for both or about $1.25 each. So I have a digital for these Sargento Balance Breaks. It does expire today, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna grab anyways. These are buy one, get one free for $3.99. There is a $2 off of two digital. It'll make my final cost just 99 cents each. I grabbed these a while back and it was the first time I had tried them and they're actually pretty good. So I'm gonna pick up two of these. So this is everything I'm going to pick up. I have 15 items in my cart. I am aiming for $10 after my $5 gift card because then that would mean that I paid less than a dollar for every single item. So I'm going to go ahead and check out and then we'll go over the receipt in the car. Okay, so I made it back into the car from the store. Here is my receipt. All of the items rang up as they were supposed to. That glare is just killing me. I had to even move because it was like in my eyes. 
Um, all of my items rang up as they were supposed to. So all three of my internet printables did not scan, but she put them through. There is a $2 right here. Those are for the Moala milk. She didn't put a dollar for each one. She just put um, $2 for both. And then the digital for the balanced breaks came off. The digital for the PF Changs came off. So the dollar off of the Stonyfield yogurt did not come off. In the digital, it does say, um, yo baby, four count or larger. I had to go to customer service because my gift card wasn't swiping on its own, so they had to transfer my transaction. So while I was there, I told her that my digital didn't come off because I realized it at the original cashier that I was at. And she looked at the digital, she made me scan, she scanned the product again, she made me put my phone number in and say that the digital wasn't attaching obviously it wasn't attaching that's why i brought it up she was saying that i had to be one of the one in the picture but the ones in the picture of the digital are not yo baby yogurts like the actual they call them yo baby is the name of the yogurt so i told her that and she just said like sorry it's not attaching um that's weird because usually when i go to customer service and i explain that to them they just give you the money back for the digital and her name tag since said that she worked there since 2013 so maybe she's just um somebody who doesn't give back money for digitals usually if your digital doesn't come off and you explain it to customer service they'll usually give your money back she did not so i just returned the item so my subtotal here was 24.87 before the return with tax was 25.45 so after i did the return um i got back two dollars and 15 cents my subtotal is now 22.72 i had that five dollar gift card so that made me pay 17.72 plus tax out of pocket for rebates on shopkick i got back 13.50 1300 for buying the bundle of the promised milk, 40 for scanning them in the store, and then 10 for walking into Publix. So I got back a total of $5.40 on Shopkick. I scanned my receipt to fetch and I got back 50 points for the Sargento balance break and I got back five cents. I don't know if I just said that. And then I bought it, I got back $7.98. I got back $5.98 for the rowdy drink. Oh, I had to sneeze, my eyes got really watery just now. And then I got back $2 for the Malala plant-based chocolate milk. So $7.98 when I bought it. I got back a total of $13.43. My subtotal after gift card was $17.72. That makes my final cost for all 15 items just $4.29. That's pretty good for all of the food that I got. I got a lot of milk. I hope my kids drink this uh, Malala plant-based chocolate milk. I'll just tell them it's regular chocolate milk. I'm sure they can't even tell the difference because it might be a little bit thicker, but that's it. There is a new extra savings booklet coming out on Saturday, so hopefully there'll be better deals to pick up to pair in with this week's deals. So I'll probably come back Saturday and that video might be up Saturday night. Um, that does bring us to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.